that's always interesting, depending on what your angle is and what you want to create, to share that with us from the MEA Law Firm. Please put your hands together as we invite on stage, Hyung Jong Kim. Uh, hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Jason Kim. Uh, we have another Jason here in the conference. So uh, my career name is Hyun Jung Kim, uh, but many people recognize me Jason. Uh, I'm, I'm here in Dubai more than 12 years. Uh, I was general, uh, regional general counsel of LG Electronics from 2010 and I was a managing partner of a major Korean law firm, and I'm operating my own law firm here in Dubai and Korea. So uh, I, will, I will discuss with you about uh, some agenda. Uh, there are three topics I want to discuss. First one is Web 3.0. Everybody knows it. And second is main topic I want to discuss with you about legal metaverse. What kind of legal issue and regulatory issues we need to think about. And third one is exactly the topic uh, our ex panelists discussed. But, uh, I may give you some more detailed information, which is uh, in legal way. I write it, I studied all the information and all the regulations in UAE. So based on this, my research, I will share to you, but there are too many uh, wording. So I will just brief for your easy understanding. Web3, yeah, I, I'm sure everybody knows about Web3, what is in, in this world. My presentation is based on Web 1, <laughs> right? But people here is working based on Web 2. But this world started Web 3. What is Web 3? Everybody knows. So I just made one very simple chart. Uh, interface will be XR, IOA. Logic will be AI and data and infra will be blockchain. So based on this structure, our future will come into us. Uh, this is the result of all the articles and all the evaluation of the generation, new generation. This is not my word. I just summarized all the peoples, what they are saying. Next generation, Web3 and Metaverse, blockchain, NFT, all these kind of new generations are talking about ownerships from platform owners to creators and personalization, decentralization, democratic business environment, scalability, diversity. Yeah, looks like beautiful. I love it. So we have a great potential, but still we need to think about time to stabilization and selective choice from end users. So nobody knows our future. Still, we have potential. We can see uh, in the market, we already saw many uh, Blockchain-based technology company are operating. For example, OpenBazaar, Steemit, DTube, even UNICEF are operating the donation system through blockchain. So 
no, no more. They are already here. I will just briefly think, talk about smart, smart manufacturing is based on brain interface, blood vessel, blood, and security. So this is the word we are, we are facing now. AI is brain interface, sensor, blood vessel, 5G, blood data, block security is secured by blockchain. So based on this structure, we can see smart manufacturing, smart logistics, IOTs, smart city, biometrics, online guarantee, authenticity solution, smart healthcare, medicals, even direct democracy in the world. So this is new world we are facing. So now I want to discuss with you what we will face in the future. Not in the future, very, it's just a matter of time, how long it will take, nobody knows, but we will see this issue. Legal metaverse changing world. This is the, some article somebody mentioned, land upon which you can build your house, blah, 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 art, where ticket purchase through in, interact, transact, own asset, have relationship, build things, blah, 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 blah. Everything is no different. Does not have any difference between real world and virtual world. Of course, now still we will face uh, big changes due to the technology. Interface uh, keep trying to. The reason why NVIDIA and Meta and Google major players are trying to make great, great EXR uh, devices. When device is getting more higher level, then all this world will be our world. So I thought about and I have did, I've checked with other people what will be the issue in the future. Avatar and AI created IP could become under dispute, for example, challenging their validity, and there will be a lot of unanswered questions ranging from Requirement for securing data, address deep fake, avatar identity theft, trolling theft, new attack vector coming from wallet immigration, kind of. And also, I saw some interesting potential risk antitrust. Nobody thought about antitrust, but the world will like this. A few years later, Meta and Microsoft made hands. Could be, nobody knows, so there could be some antitrust risk as well. And I saw some avatar lawyer in Roblox as well. So what will be the key issue and risk when we talk about metaverse law? Unestablished legal framework and consequences. We discussed before and different technical configuration between metaverse platform owners. Because all different platform owners will, they will organize their own technology. So there could be some difficulties. And when we talk about legal action, what is legal action? When I sign contract, this is legal action. Then what is legal meaning of legal action in the metaverse? Because I'm not here. I'm just controlling, but my avatar is signing contract, meeting people, handshake, discuss. <clears throat> and crime and punishment is very important as well. But, uh, Nula Poena Zine Lege. Is there any lawyer here? <laughs> this is principle of legality, means without law, you cannot be punished. There is no retroactive application. Without regulation, we cannot punish them. 
So this is very important issue we need to consider. And also, jurisdiction and governing law is very important. I'm here, but my server is in US, and my avatar is in Roblox. The Roblox server is in Singapore, for example. Then which country will have jurisdiction, and what kind of law will apply? So this is, everybody saying, uh, no, 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 this is very far. It will take a very long time. But since I study this metaverse world, I realized that it will come to us very fast. It's really a matter of time. Within one or two years, we will see. Because the speed of our interface device development is very fast. We cannot imagine how fast. I saw some band, glasses, some necklace, sometimes some sticker. I feel it will, go, it, will, it will come very, very fast. So we need to think about this, all these kind of issues. And also metaverse forensics, investigation and in this e-discovery and the dispute resolution. This is also kind of another new headache. Who is it? <laughs> okay. So when you talk about jurisdiction, I already explained to you. So torch and legal action in the metaverse and control action by a natural person is different. So nobody knows how we will decide, how we will control these issues in your country or in their country or in the metaverse itself. In the metaverse itself, they will have their court. It's possible also. And severe location, place of ritual, place of creation, difficult to find and figure out the severe location in the cloud. What about P2P? Just direct communication. In that case, where is? So all the lawyers, all the regulatory people are thinking about jurisdiction and gov governing law. So we, this metaverse world is super difficult. Of course, many people are studying and they made some their opinion. I have my opinion based on this fact. But yeah, I, I, I do not want to talk about this, my opinion this, today. And also, inter intellectual property right has some issues. Uh, many people know that uh, what about the temporary copy will affect the right in the system or IP or background, kind of like outside background is exactly the same in the uh, metaverse world, but it is a new creation or this copy of the creation this is IP or this is just kind of picture. Real avatar. Avatar will be another. And when you're managing in production and creation levels, there is many uh, agenda and issues we think about. Implied license program, opt-out system, comprehensive license agreement or treaty, Creative commercial license, micro contents, operation level guideline, sandbox regulation, extension of fair use theory, and development of new theory. So, intellectual property area, there are too many things we need to discuss. Do you think they are, they are under discussion? No, I don't think so. Somebody will make global guideline, and this guideline will implement it to the world. So this is very easy way. Uh, the reason why I will talk about uh, FATF, just as an example of global and time money laundering transaction uh, guidelines. Based on these guidelines, each country is implementing these rules in, it, in each their country. Uh, and time money laundering. Many people are thinking cryptocurrency will make cyber criminals. Uh, thanks to the inheritance of transparency of blockchain, cryptocurrency investigation is more easier, which means cryptocurrency is not directly related to the current crime. It's more easy and good for us to control. 
the reason why FATF already invites all virtual assets, crypto assets, to their regulation authority. Yeah, uh, our ex, ex panels discussed about this issue, so I will briefly talk about FATF is a global watchdog that established and promotes AML standard, anti money laundering standard. And Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia joined other GCC, GCC, not formal members. GCC itself is a full member. UAE has already implemented several AML rules. Yeah. And recently, BASP virtual asset service providers are regulated by FATF. Also, NFT is regulated. This is just information, how they are controlling kind of KYC, CIP, CDD, and some red flag system. When the, some suspicious actions come up, then red flags all automatically raised up. And then this information is going to suspicious and activity reports are going to US is FinCEN and UAE is FIU. <coughs> so UA government and US government and all other government have their own system in terms of anti-money laundering. Criminal. Cyber talk, cyber bullying, cyber sexual harassment, extortion, kidnapping, revenge porn, child program, so many things. Interesting things, interesting things, I asked, I added assault. Assault, what is assault? Hitting. Many people think uh, this is not covered by a metaverse law, but this will, we'll talk about why assault is not direct assault. Indirect assault is very, very harmful as well. And injury of offense, even injury could be possible. Uh, I will just briefly explain what is current regula regulation in the GCC. Is that, of course, uh, there are many developments in the GCC, but we need to focus on UAE. UAE is the most advanced and they are most fast and they are leading this region. Of course, tr Saudi tried to do it, but still not the first. And then Bahrain recently tried to invite Binance and then they tried to enhance the regulation level, but it was not the level. UA, especially Dubai, uh, Mr. Sheikh Mohammed announced very impressive regulations. Uh, this is uh, FATF, Financial Action Task Force. Uh, it's not that much complicated. When you go in this website, you can see all the information. Of course, this is a legal word, so just a little difficult to understand, but in general, it's not that much difficult. They are regulating virtual assets. They are making guidelines. Of course, they are not global government. They are just the, they are just independent intergovernmental body. They are not government authority. They are providing recommendation. So in FA, uh, uh, FATF, you can see virtual assets, VASP, and AML, and CFT. And when they make this regulation, they mentioned risk-based approach is the most important. Because they don't know. But now they are changing their attitude. Uh, especially, uh, they sophisticated the regulatory uh, module, and they mentioned five types of activities will be covered by FATF, uh, like acting as business, on behalf of another person, providing 
actively facilitating VA related activities. So all this information in the uh, executive summary, you can see uh, the, all the information. Yeah, this is also. And this is the detail. What is the last update of FATF? Uh, they are clarifying the division of VA in VASF and guidance, guidance on how F, F, FATF standard apply to the stable coins and additional guidelines on the risk and tools available in the country and update on guidance on licensing and regulation of VASP and principles of information sharing and cooperation. But this FATF is global guidance. Based on this, UAE is, has started, of course, a long time, but uh, in terms of development, it was now very, uh, very fast. Blockchain strategy was 2021 was announced and F FSRA, this is a financial regulatory regulation authority in Abu Dhabi global market. So Abu Dhabi global market was most aggressive in terms of accepting the uh, virtual assets and uh, crypto assets. So you can see this information. And then uh, Dubai Multi Community Center, DMCC, also uh, tried to invite all global companies to Dubai. And they permitted to trade their own behalf only and establish much exchange houses and conducting ICO is not covered under this license before. Right? But they licensed turned to and UAE completed risk assessment virtual asset last year. But yeah, it, it is another free zone and this is uh, federal government, security and community authority and DI, DFSA is regulating. But both financial regulator, regulators emphasize the high risk associated with trading cryptocurrency and that investors who carry out the investment to do so their own risk own risk and central bank at the time prohibited and they changed it regulations that do not apply to cryptocurrency and crypto exchange and underlying technology such as blockchain technology which means just a little vague not 100 percent prohibited which means UAE is still underdeveloped when you see the name of law, some laws mention crypto asset, crypto asset, store value facility work, and digital security, virtual asset, crypto, token. You know, what is the meaning of this? Even regulation is not ready, still under establishment. So after a few years later, all this regulation will be established. Uh, by sectors, this kind of Regulation is under. A new law was launched uh, September 20, no, February 28, Dubai Virtual Asset Law, DVAR, Duvar, is launched. And Duvar has made it Dubai Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority, VARA. We are calling VARA. So VARA will take care of all the uh, regulatory issue works. Under uh, this, VARA will be re-put into the World Trade Center. So World Trade Center will be the leading uh, authority and VARA will report to the update. So some details, I made it, but in general, they made it uh, official law and they started regulate officially and they made one official regulator to control this. Okay. Uh, matter of time. Everybody knows. So I will study more. Uh, I, I started my career as a regional general counsel of LG and 
conventional legal lawyer, so I was very happy, but I'm facing now new world. So I studied recent two months. I realized that it was great, great opportunity for you, for me, and for you. So I hope to develop together. Thank you very much. It was good to meet you. Thank you, Jason. Excellent.